Well, I've made it. Wow. There we go. The shoreline uh, along the Speak Carson coastline. Look over to the Wirral, Hansby Port, Hansby Fodgham. And uh, don't look down. Hey, guys, right. I do remember this bit from last year. So now I've actually found my way back. Just heading back to Hale. So, getting down. There's the question, but I did go up here last year, so I just have to remember how I did that. Anyway, tune in for the next exciting episode of Ian Kai Mercer's Adventure down the Mersey shoreline. Uh, to start for now, see you later, alligator, and wish me luck! Woohoo! And welcome to part two <laughs> of Ingo Mercy's Great Mersey Walk Adventure here on Speed Beach, obviously Garson Beach. Anyway, that's the um, light gantry to you know give planes uh, guidance for when they land. Uh, yep, we've got gulls circling overhead. We've got some kind of mast right there, and. I did it! I stopped there last year. Um, yeah, it was a really, really hot day. Today's the best of day. Uh, just for, uh, you know, walking down. There's a little chair over there, but I'm not going to sit on it. So I'm just going to sit down here ah, and take a breather after scrambling through the fields. Yeah, which <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend. But then, Apart from the solitude and the stillness, and of course the gold chorus, yeah, yeah, just as uh, effective as the hallelujah chorus, it's really nice. <laughs> I didn't expect to come up this far because you go back up that way and it takes you out to Garston proper, Garston docks. So it looks like I've got a bit of a trek back to get down to Hale. Lovely. So, oh dear. Let's get to it, shall we? Nearly two minutes on the clock. Right. Oh, oh, and it's wet and muddy. Lovely. Brilliant. So, what am I doing down there? And because Tiglet said he wouldn't come down there again, and I, I bet this is the third time I've been down this beach. Uh, I mean, previous times I've been on really hot days on uh, scorchers, uh, and I really, really didn't enjoy it. Um, so yeah, like I said, philosophising, anti-vassing, betwixt and between, what do I mean? Well, it's kind of, yeah, thinking, where do I stand? I don't know. Spent a whole weekend in uh, church a couple of weekends ago when um, Ignite Sleepover, um, really nice breakfast, uh, Tigler around Victoria Park, uh, Deacon Rob Baptist for barbecue, Nerd Club at St John's, um, East Witness Team. Um, baking bread uh, event Sunday afternoon a couple of nice meditation workshops you know kind of Ignatian and Christian um, and then Ignite Sunday night and possibility of going Soul Survivor which is like a Christian youth camp um, but do I really want to do that and it's in two days time but I don't know this is just a backward step for me we shall see anyway moving forwards I keep thinking I hear voices and it's not it's my bag squeaking <laughs> brilliant anyway ain't this grand speed beach 
and the view across the Mersey. Lovely. He's somewhat the mystified with last time I was down. Every now and again, scattered down the shoreline are these pillars. Don't know what they're here for. I'll keep meaning to Google it online. Um, see if it was uh, something during the war or something. You know, um, and just fell into disuse because right on the bottom looks like remains of a house. Um, oh, oh, mud, mud. Ah! Right in the middle of it. Lovely. Well, what do you expect? Yeah. Make sure you don't mind your well, he's getting caked. But who will be mad enough to come down this godforsaken stretch um, of shoreline anyway? Hey, answer me that. Who, who would it be in their right mind would even consider trekking? down this wilderness, this last forgotten wilderness, right in the middle of the northwest of England. Bustling cityscapes everywhere. And then there's this. It's like, ugh. I don't know. It's been, it's, yeah, definitely the loneliest stretch of shoreline ever but at least the sun's out and it's not raining which is good so continuing the journey there we go well i just love that view yeah over to fodgeman hellsby with i think he's albany and maybe he's at peck forson no peck forson's further on beacon hill uh all down south cheshire down towards delamere and that way so you always get a good view of that place but with the sun shining um i think that might be some ferry over there um past ellesmere port yeah Eastern Ferry is a cool place to go as well. Although I <laughs> wandered off the pathway and uh, went down the beach down there too. That was just before Christmas last year. Oh, oh, mind the mud. Um, so that was pretty cool. So, uh, what else? Yeah, like I said, just wandering around. Uh, enjoying the day. Having a break from all the uh, stuff at home um, just writing sorting my room out tidying out papers and uh, piles of plastic bags and everything uh, all the clutter sorting my books out yeah to do with a book sale actually I have to uh, look at that at some point oh, you know ages ago I gave about two bags full to charity shops anyway so I might have to do the same again well I've been a good boy and I haven't been Trolling through charity shops buying stuff up, so <laughs> that's a plus point for me. Right, I'm stuck again. Right, okay, uh, give me a sec while I figure this out. There's another one of those posts that's looking back where we've been so far, and this is uh, carrying on around the bend. Haha, <laughs> yes, uh. Obviously, what same person would do this on their day off? Well, second day of the holiday, anyway. Woohoo! <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, with the sun shining out, yeah, means this will dry up in no time, except it's uh, a bit too late for these boots. Um, yeah. I don't know, I'll have to see if these are, uh, well these are light when they get back in. I've had these since, uh, January? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in the January when I um, went for a walk in the snow in Chester, around the walls, and my boots leaked, old boots that is. So I've got these ones, they've been through rain, snow, can they survive the mud at speak? So, we shall see. But anyway, I think we're actually getting back round because right ahead is the lighthouse. So we turn this corner here and that's like, you know, um, 
proper beach area. Um, still got all that mud to go, so yippee. Woohoo! Where's your sense of adventure, Marissa? Come on! Right, <laughs> channeling Mr. Tiglet and uh, some kind of uh, coach person thing. Uh, all in one go. Right, so what's going on with Tiggy? Hey, <laughs> talk about the runaway train. It's, um, and oh, this is nice. Uh, uh, I might stop here. Nah, carry on. Um, yeah, time travel series four, up till Christmas. Afterwards, who knows? Um, I, I'm already thinking about the next big thing for 2014. Maybe Dominion, maybe Visitations, live action, do stop motion animation, um, GoPro, uh, you know, Go Professional. That's not a title. Although it could be. Could be. You never know. Um, yeah. Try and get. Ooh, what's that? Is that dog or rabbit or something? See, I'm not the only person mad enough to come down here. Well, you know, someone bringing in the dog, obviously. Um, so, yeah. See, see how it goes. Well, right now, no idea what the time is. The sun's beating down. I'm baking like a roasty, and uh, yeah, time for a pit stop. It looks like another. Uh, post here, moving might take five, so I'll see you later at the gator.